Susan Lee has the latest for us. And one day, Susan, we won't care what these companies decide because hopefully there'll be more competition somewhere. Good point. Well, Harris, it's been four months since Mr. Trump has been able to post on Facebook to his 35 million followers. Now, that might change tomorrow morning when Facebook's independent oversight board decides Trump's fate on the world's biggest social media site. His account was first suspended on January the 7th. That was the day after the Capitol Hill riots and then indefinitely banned a few days later by Mark Zuckerberg himself, writing at the time that keeping President Trump on the platform posed risks that were too great. Now, the decision will be crucial given that other social media sites like Twitter, Snap, and YouTube have continued their Trump ban and some indefinitely. Now, Facebook is arguably the most important. Nearly 3 billion visit the social media site each and every day. And Facebook has one of the largest controls over advertising spending in the U.S. and America. Now, for President Trump, returning to Facebook not only means engagement with his 35 million followers, but also amplification of his influence in the GOP party and experts say that that also gives him influence and kingmaker status on the Republican side. Now, big tech, though, has been under fire. It's not just Josh Hawley there of Missouri, but also Florida Governor Ron DeSantis looking to pass a bill that would fine these big tech companies if they censor speech, especially on the GOP side. So that will be an interesting decision, Harris, with that Facebook decision tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern, to see the, how far the extent and the power that the big techs have. Would that be enough? Because whether they turn you on or off on their platforms, Twitter, Facebook, any of them, they don't have to give you the transparency notes on who's making the decisions. Not algorithms making certain things trend to the top, like that racial slur against Senator Tim Scott on Twitter, but people curating that material. Yeah, on or off switch, fine. Can we get some transparency and find out who's actually doing these things and how do they fix it? Susan Lee, good to see you. Um, I. I want to thank you for that. Thank, thank you.